Well, I'm out here doing a little scouting around on some public land. And I just seen some big old gobblers up there in the distance spook and take off. And today's Sunday, so no hunting. Try and come back tomorrow, you ain't gonna see them. That's the way it goes sometimes. Right, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Yeah, there's some tracks where they were coming out of here, I guess, because I just watched them. They ran back on in here. Big boys, too. And as usual, there's a chair right here. I seen a bunch of foot tracks and car tracks coming in and out of here. So that's why they took off. They're under pressure. I'm gonna look some more. All right, so I'm coming down the trail here, and all these roads on this public land are all planted, as you see. And they have a few food plots. Look at this. That's pretty good track right there. What is that? Man, that almost looked like one. I call those full yes deer tracks all in here. But leads right on into a food plot. There's a few of them on this property. And there's a couple of miles of roads twisting and turning through here that are all planted. So food plot goes that way. Food plot goes that way. Primarily clover in here, and then they got rye, it looks like, on the trails. There's good hunting opportunities on public land in South Carolina, but a lot of pressure too with other hunters. That's a box blind right there. That's all private property, a big old pasture. And this is the property WMA and private boundary. And they got another box blind down here on this corner. They got this one. The boys got it locked down. You know, deer coming off their property, they won't to let on to this one. Oh, they got two. They got two stands. I ain't going up in their property. There's another one right there. And then they're box blind. Huh. Well, deer learn how to get around all that. Smarter, mature bucks and mature does. I'm going to look around a little bit more. All right, as you can see, it says leaving wildlife management area. And that right there is a nature's calling portal it. Like I said, there was a tower blind, two more stands, one here. So the private landowners over there, they got it locked down through here. But like I just said, put in the work on some of this public land. You can figure out how these deer are moving around all that. And maybe get lucky. This is a very high pressure piece. Uh oh. Looks like the game warden down here. Man, I didn't come but another 50 feet. Here's another one. Now, I was told that if you're hunting this close to the WMA transition property line, that you could get sighted a ticket. For renegade hunting. I don't see it nowhere in our rules and regulations. This isn't a game warden. It's not a police officer. It's a private individuals. I didn't know there was a back way in here. Huh. See any other problem? There's a trailer right there. You're pinched up. That's where I just came out at. And there's that pasture with all those stands. You're pinched in between two pieces of private property 
and those guys got a bunch of campers permanently set up over there like they're a full-time hunting club well still keep looking this is the other thing i found out here last year i came over here and looked around this chair i just found tons of spots with chairs and old raggedy pop-up blinds where these guys just come out here and sit ground level shooting a high-powered rifle through this stuff i don't know exactly what the rule is on that i thought you were supposed to be up in an elevated stand well that old junker clunker car there huh old rust bucket another old car up in here looks like somebody's old abandoned house and some other stuff See, this is what I'd look for. I can see a trail, then it comes and crosses a creek right here and goes up into there. There's a shooting lane and food plot back over that way. I'll take a look on it, see what I see. Yeah, it comes up here off that there creek bottom that goes up behind these houses and right into here. The deer sliding behind his houses. They probably don't get no hunting pressure there. But I said you gotta look around for those in between areas. Like I said, guys, this was the problem I was finding out here last year. Is where these guys just come and just sit in a chair right along the lanes through here. And those chairs are everywhere in here. Very high pressure. All right, here's something I see pretty often. So this is public land. This track looks like primarily a lot of dove hunting goes on here. That's what it's set up for with some areas of timber around it that you can deer hunt and turkey and small game. But here's the property line. And I see this pretty often. Right on the property line. They've got their stand and box blind, all that set up. You cannot hunt deer with a high-powered rifle over this dove field. So they sit here to intercept as the deer come in and out because legally, as long as they're shooting back on private land, they can. And they can do that. You know, there might be some controversy over it. I had another fella telling me it was uh, called renegade hunting and the game warden give you a ticket for it for a thousand dollars. I just heard that the other day. Next game warden I see, I'll ask him. That's the proper thing to do. Ask the man in charge, he'll tell you. But you know, they can do that. I've heard controversy over guys talking about running deer with dogs. Growing up in the low country, that's what you do. But I'm gonna tell you right now, some of them that said they wouldn't do it. Man, if they heard them dogs chasing after some deer, they'd want to hurry up and get a shotgun in their hand and change their attitude real quick. All right, well, I just want to stop by here and check out this track. Probably not nowhere that I'm gonna deer hunt. If I did, which there are a bunch of deer tracks, those are pretty good sized ones too. I'll tell you how I would do it if I come here and I hunt this and I'll show you in just a second all right here's a map of the place and it's got a glare on it here's that gigantic dove field I'm parked here I came in actually come down the property line here's the main road and then there's some other food plots around here then here's that private property back here that had all the stands with the pasture more up here there's houses and stuff so there's a lot of private land pressured back here and then you got all this and all this 
and then you got all these food plots where you think a lot of these guys are going when they come in here to these food plots so what I would do if I hunt this is figure out my wind direction all right so the winds coming out of the south would be a great ideal wind because then it's going to blow through all this property I would take hook the property line and come and set up in here somewheres because these other guys are going to park and odds are no guarantee but odds are they're going to head to these food plots where I saw those chairs and stuff and get all in this area then the winds blowing through here grabbing their scent and maybe maybe I could be the receiver on the opposite side of the property oh well I'm gonna make this public on YouTube somebody else is gonna do that now hey it's public land everybody's welcome as long as you got your license and permit and abide by the law all right well that's it for this track for today there's a turkey in the road and this is just where I just came out of That's where I just come out of. I was just walking right there. And now there's two vehicles here. That's where I just walked up and thought that was the pole police SUV. See, there's other people out here scouting around. High pressure, high pressure. All right, stop by the lake. It's right here around the corner. Beautiful place with a very sad history. And John D. Long Lake, where Susan Smith did a very bad thing. I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going into the history of it, but still a beautiful lake. And a few guys out here doing some fishing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to head over to private land that I got. I got 218 acres that I'm blessed to be able to hunt on. I have for the last five years. I'm going to head over there and go mess around enjoy a few hours out here oh lord before i have to head on back home and go to bed to wake up to deal with the busy life living in greenville south carolina <laughs> but i enjoyed it same time all right well thanks for watching guys